yeah, it's Frozen Taurus. And you know, we're on the month of May, so I thought it would be a fun idea to participate in, you know, more May. And here's me drawing the first day of more May. Uh, as you can see, celebration is the prompt word of the day. And you know, at first I was thinking about doing like a mermaid super happy and all, but then I started thinking about parties and I thought it would be a good idea to, you know, make a mermaid going to a college party because you know as soon as quarantine's over that's definitely the first way i would like to celebrate it i know it's probably not possible because you know you can only go to parties after they get a vaccine and shit but you know one can dream <laughs> so since the last party i went to was um a pool party i decided it would be a cool idea to make her you know just chilling in the pool uh talking to a guy because you know when you're at a party you're pretty much never alone <laughs> and all so yeah i i don't think it would be impossible to see a guy drooling over a normal girl so a mermaid just there's no way he wouldn't drool over her that's what i mean <laughs> Another thing that I would like to mention that maybe isn't that much common in other places uh, is that she has a mug of her own in the party because that is really common over here in order to not, you know, waste slash spend money on, uh, on cups we usually bring our own mugs to the parties and it's really environmental friendly and I thought since she's a mermaid of course she would have her own mug because you know she does care about the environment and all <laughs> and also as you probably noticed there's like a little string attached to the mug it's usually so that even when you're not drinking anything you can like hang it on your neck or something so you won't like lose the mug during the party and trust me losing a mug during a college party is the saddest thing that can happen to you because there is no way you're gonna get that mug back i lost my favorite mug in a party and <laughs> i know i'm never gonna see it back oh right now i have to apologize for the the weird color I'm using for the water. Here's the thing, uh, the software that I use for recording the screen for some reason has a weird option of inverting blue and red, I think it was. So for some reason uh, it has this weird option and I forgot to unclick it so the colors were all really really wrong and it ended up in you know that weird color i only realized this that i didn't you know click on the right button when i started coloring so yeah i guess it wasn't that that bad since you know black is always black and all i started like giving the mermaid a really really pinkish uh skin color but then i realized like she's a mermaid she probably you know gets quite a lot of sun so it does make sense to make them like you know, not so pink. Also, it's kind of funny because I only realized I didn't give the mermaid a top really, really late into the drawing. So I just, you know, painted it in instead of giving it line art. I think I even forgot to give it line art in the very end. So yeah, but she does have a top, which I think it's the most important. If she didn't, maybe that would explain even more why the guy was rolling over her, but you know. I also forgot to, you know, do a lot of line art, like, for the guy's arm and the background, but that I'm gonna do later. Also, as you can see, her mug has a logo, which is supposed to be a tiny little wave, because I thought, you know, if, if a mermaid would, you know, go to college, I think she would study about the seas. Like, I don't know, it just seems like it's the thing that most makes sense to me, since, you know, that's where she lives. I don't know. I think it would be nice for her to study what we think happens there. <laughs> I don't know. And it would make her life way easier to be a sea biologist because, you know, she doesn't have to get any scuba diving equipment since she is the scuba diving, like, the 
best scuba diver in the world just by being a mermaid, so yeah. <laughs> I've been really loving to making this like really simple backgrounds that are just, you know, green and like layers of different shades of green. It's like so easy and I don't know, I think it's look it looks so pretty. And as I mentioned before, um, a Brazilian party is not a Brazilian a Brazilian college party is not a Brazilian co college party without some ink. So I had to throw in some ink at her face and her arms. And I decided to make some like confetti, I think it's called. Just because I thought it would just look super cute and super festive. And I didn't know if it would look festive enough if I didn't do that. Also, I tried a different technique for shading because I was just not feeling it, I just didn't want to shade, so I just plopped some different shades of red here and there, and then I just lowered the opacity of that layer, and I do think it ended up pretty well. Just the, like, the floor over there of the pool, and the, the tail, and also the hair, I had to, like, make it purple instead of red, but still, I think it just turned out pretty great. What do you think? Anyway, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.